All right, guys, today I'm back up here at the front pasture. I need to work on the fence and try to get this thing up and going so we can get the cows moved over here. I'm trying to eyeball it so it goes straight to that post there. Well, it seems to be working. So, let me go get some more rope, get this fence finished up over here on that side, right over there, and then we'll be right back. All right guys, and just like that, um, it's actually the next day. It got a little too dark when I was finishing up uh, last night, so came back out today. Um, as you can see, we got all four strands on, so we've got both the, uh, the, the rope here and electric line, rope electric, so it staggers every other. Now I'm gonna make the top electric line hot. I'm going to use a, um, our Premier One fencing electric charger, our solar charger box out here. I'm going to try to just make that hot for the time being. Uh, we'll eventually tap it in or tie it into another source, but for now, that's going to be the workaround. But the whole front pasture is done. It's all fenced in. Um, before we try to get the cows moved out here, though, I want to get up here. I moved the tractor up to the mobile pasture shelter. I just want to take the shelter. We want to shift it and kind of reposition it here in the middle. Uh, it's a little hilly here but hopefully it'll still level out. And uh, let me show you what I did over here. So all I did is uh, I've got a chain here that's linked down to an eye bolt. I screwed in an eye bolt on each side of the shelter down in the six by six runner. So see here. And all I did is I hooked the chain hook onto there. So it's hooked onto the eye bolt on each side of the six by six runner. I just need to drag this and shift it and swing it that way. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna move this mobile pasture shelter and then I'm gonna go get Jerry to give me some help and we're gonna try to get the cows moved from there out to here. So let's, uh, let's get this moved.
a little difficult because of the uneven ground and I was getting used to the, how it was hooked up with the chains. So just, I had to do a complete loop because I didn't like how close it was to this fence. So I looped all the way around the field to get it back up here. But that's in place, we're ready to go. I hear Jerry coming down the path of the lawnmower. Uh, so this is in place, ready to go. I went ahead and got the uh, Premier One fencing uh, charge box, solar box, up on the fence up by the garden area. And I checked it and we are getting a full 7,000 volts snapping on here. Um, that's good, the only part that needs to have an additional uh, work, I guess, is the front part over here by the barn. I need to run a jumper cable from the old, uh, from where it's hot to here. Just working on the fence lines so that we can uh, keep them hot without shorting. But anyways, everything's ready to go. Jerry's up here now. When she gets done mowing, we're gonna go ahead and grab these cows and see if we can get them over there. The goats might come with them temporarily, but we'll get them put back. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Everything goes smooth. <laughs> All right, so Jerry finished mowing, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna close up this temporary gate. Again, I'm gonna mount a hard gate here. Uh, we, I have a, a big red, a real heavy gate. May use that just because we have it on hand, but I'd like a lighter gate to put here if we can. But uh, for now, we just have this rope we're gonna pull across here. And Jerry, I think, is going to uh, put the goats up right now, try to keep them in their house maybe with a little snack of some sort. And then we're just gonna get some sweet feed or something to see if we can get the cows to walk out of the gate. I don't know, they never really walked out here, so I'm not sure if they'll follow us or not, but hopefully we can get them from the main gate over there right over to the end of this line and get them in here. And then we can put some hay in their house here. We'll have to put their water barrel over here and get them all set up and then turn the fence on. <laughs> so I just detached these, it's open. We just gotta go through the gate in here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if Jerry can get him. I don't know. They, no, I mean, you can do what you want. So they're following you. Patty's taking a detour. <laughs> well, that took a weird turn. We thought Chuck was gonna be the one to give us a problem to get in here, but Patty ventured down to the duck pond. I opened up the other gate though, and I ended up just letting her, forcing her up through there. But uh, they're both in here. She's down there eating on the oak tree. <laughs> but yeah, they're in here now. Now we need to go hit the power so we can make sure this top line is energized. Uh, they get used to it, but like I said, we'll put some hay in their house just so they can know to use it, and we'll have to get a water bucket, get that filled up right here so they have some water. But yeah, let's go turn the energizer on real quick. There we go. Now that's gonna energize this top line. And again, it goes from the chicken runs all the way around 
and there's even a line that goes down along the farm, um, down along the garden fence, and then all the way down around the perimeter, back up to the top. There's just a small section right in front of the barn that we have to run a jumper over to to get it hot, but at least this line's hot. Start getting the cows used to it in case they push into the fence. It'll zap them. I see Patty over there. Let's see if she works her way this way. I know they're going to be so excited to have this new pasture. <laughs> what are you doing, Patty? Oh, I hear it snapping over here. That's why we need to redo this corner. I swear I needed a, a wood post. I just got to turn this off, slide that down onto the insulator so it's not shorting on the metal. We'll be good. You liking it, Patty? Look at all this vegetation to eat. You see her jumping? Yeah, she's excited. All kinds of stuff to nibble on. Look at all that. <laughs> Alright, so water's up here. They don't even need hay. They, of course, they got all the grass, but we'll put some hay in there for bedding. They like to lay on it. So we'll get some, a bale of hay inside the house here just so they can get in there and lay on it when they want. Other than that, they're ready to go to town on this pasture. Look at this one's having a hard time with it. Yeah. Why can't we come out? <laughs> This is not goat proof fencing up here. It's only four strand, only one's hot. The goats would just push right through and be chaos. So we, they gotta stay inside the uh, high tensile woven wire fence there. All right guys, well I appreciate everyone following to the end of today's video. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to us here at Fergal Family Farm. And boy, does it feel good to finally have the cows out in the front pasture. They are loving it. All right guys, until next time, we'll see you later.